So, Marvel's Black Panther has clawed its way to the top of the mountain. It is now the highest grossing superhero movie in U.S. history. Give it up. Officially outselling the Avengers, already hitting the one billion dollar mark globally. So the next hurdle is is a big one. Mm. Yeah, are you doing Wakanda forever? Wakanda forever. <laughs> Wakanda forever. <laughs> Becoming the highest grossing film of all time. Could it happen? That incredible fiscal feat currently held by Star Wars, The Force Awakens, but Black oh, Panther does need a little over $300 million more in box office sales to slink into the history books forever. At this rate, though, it is very clearly a wow. possibility. <laughs> over a billion. <laughs> Next up in pop news this morning, a battle is brewing between Hollywood and some online streaming services. Specifically, the Cannes Film Festival says Netflix is welcome to come, show their movies at the prestigious event in France this summer, but they will not be eligible for the competition's highest prize, the Palme d'Or. Festival organizers say the Best in Show award is reserved only for films shown in theaters. And Steven Spielberg is weighing in. He, for one, agrees, telling ITV News, once you commit to a television format, you're a TV movie. And if it's a good show, you certainly deserve to be up for an Emmy, but not film awards like those at Cannes or the Oscars. As of now, it does not appear the Academy agrees. It did accept admissions from streaming movies, such as Mudbound, which yes. was nominated <laughs> for four Oscars. What do you guys think about this? It's a matter of time. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I will say that the Cannes uh, representative said they'll they'll figure out something because sure. these movies are terrific. They, they are. just their feeling is they need to have a theatrical release. They need to Why? go through. I agree, Robin. I think the times they are changing. Mm -hmm. Great so. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Lots going on in Hollywood today. Margot Robbie is asking to be or not to be in the TV business. The Oscar nominee is now producing a Shakespearean series with a twist, retelling the works of the great poet from the female perspective, and each with a modern take. These episodes in a 10-part series will retell a different Shakespearean play, and they'll be led by an all-female creative team. It is a great idea. It also, I, it reintroduces us wow. to these classics, gets our kids involved in them, hopefully. The project being produced in Australia in partnership with the Australian Broadcast casting company and ABC Studios International. It's set to begin filming sometime this year. One Good point. for you. I, Tanya, she produced that. Now she's yeah. producing this. Coming to force. Absolutely. Little uh, mogul, mini mogul. Yeah. Big mogul, actually. <laughs> yeah. And then finally, uh, this one's for you, Michael Strahan. I know you like cars, right? Love them. Okay, good. So you can own a classic Porsche. I found an amazing deal for you. Okay. A rare 1956 Porsche for less than $6,000. There is a catch. There you can see it. It needs a little work, everybody. But who doesn't? Someone in San Francisco is selling the rusted out shell and some other parts on Craigslist for this classic Porsche. But before you go judging a book by its rusty, nasty cover, wait a minute. A 1956 Porsche in great condition like this one sold in an auction last year for $700,000. So I'm just saying. If you can cobble together a few things, like wheels, a door, <laughs> this could be a great investment. It'll cost you something. <laughs> you know what? Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Yes, I'm sticking is. with my story. <laughs> some, sometimes you got to know when to let it go, okay? <laughs> but th thank you so much, Lara. Great job with Pop News, as always. Yes. Yeah.